Kathleen Doug, much quieter here today. Albuquerque police still investigating why Luke Farzhanowski allegedly attacked that cab driver and took off with his vehicle. But this complaint details what happened before and also afterward. Right now, 26-year-old Luke Farzhanowski is behind bars accused of killing Albuquerque cab driver, 58-year-old Larry Mullins. We're waiting on OMI to provide us positive identification so we can notify next of kin. The criminal complaint says just after 8 p.m. Monday, a Smith security guard said a man walked up to him and asked, are you awake? Are you ready? The guard told that man to leave the property, but he said he was waiting for a cab. Moments later, that same security guard saw the yellow cab speed off and a body in the parking lot. Detectives say Luke then came here to his mother's house. He told her what happened and she called 911. When officers got there, they say Barzowski was already gone. I'm Angela with KOAT. We knocked on that door, but couldn't understand what the man behind it had to say. Sorry. Two hours after that homicide, the criminal complaint says someone called 911 about a suspicious blood covered cab parked at the Dancing Eagle Travel Center. The officers uh, observed the suspect uh, walking out of the, the service station holding a gas can, uh, some degreaser and some rags. State officers say Varzowski wasn't listening to their companions, wasn't doing what they were told. Instead, the criminal complaint says Varzowski shouted to the officers, shoot me. He was handcuffed, arrested and booked into MDC for murder. We expect to see Varzowski in court on Tuesday. Now, as far as a criminal history, Luke Varzhanowski has a few traffic violations, two battery charges in which he allegedly hurt his mother on one incident and another where he allegedly punched a man at a nightclub. I'm told Albuquerque police have responded to his northwest Albuquerque home four times in the last three months. Reporting live in southwest Albuquerque tonight, I'm Angela Brower, KYT Action 7 News.